Parkridge Kids and welcome to week nine of your online learning for term three. This week I would just like you to continue working from the choice boards, those grids with 12 activities and you can choose one or two of them to do uh, for this week and for next week too. Um, for this week though, I thought I'd better give you a little bit of revision on how to read the notes of the treble clef because one of the activities in the grid is uh, you can choose star fours if you're uh, lucky enough to have an iPad or iPhone and your parents are happy to let you download star fours. I think it costs $1.49 and then you have it forever. And it's a fantastic program if you're interested in getting better at reading music. Or you can click on the link that I've included uh, to a game called Note Names for Kids. Now, because that one's free, I think we'll take a look at Note Names for Kids and see how that works. But before we look at the link, I'll just show you on my Mac a few basics that are going to help refresh your memories when it comes to reading the notes of the treble clef. I'm talking every good boy deserves fruit and face in the space. Let's take a look. Okay, so here we have a worksheet, and I've used the drawing tool to uh, add a few notes onto the musical staff. Now the musical staff, in case you don't know, are these five lines and four spaces that you see music written on. Because we're talking about high and low pitch and, and note letter names, we need to have a treble clef, which is in there. That's, a, that's what a treble clef looks like, I'm sure you've seen them before. Now, as you know, notes are written on lines and in spaces. And basically, we just use the alphabet, really, starting low and getting higher as the alphabet goes up. Anytime you see a note on this bottom line, it's going to be an E. Going to the first space, and you notice it sits right in the space, F, just like the alphabet. Second line is G. Now, interestingly, when it gets to G, it, there's no H in music, so it goes back to A. So the musical alphabet is only A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then it just restarts at the next high A. Um, you might be able to think back to some of the piano studies we've done, uh, and that should hopefully help you understand this a bit more. So anyway, once we've got to G here, the next note up is back to A, and it's in that second space. The third line is a B. The third space is a C, and then we go up to D on the fourth line. We have an E in that fourth space, and the top line is F. Now, there are notes that appear above, and there are notes that go below. But for prep one and two, let's just concentrate on the notes that are appearing within the staff. Now, to help us out a bit, uh, you might notice down here, I've used our every good boy deserves fruit saying, because you won't always see music in a, an ordered line going from lowest to highest. It often appears in all different um, notes. So a good way to help us remember it is by using the saying, every good boy deserves fruit. A note on any of the lines, well, we use the word for the bottom line, E, every, that helps me remember that's an E. Second line, G, good, helps me remember that one. B for boy, D for deserves, and F for fruit. So if you can remember every good boy deserves fruit, you should hopefully start understanding the notes on the lines. Now what happens when the notes are in a space? What I might do is just change the color here. Let's draw some of the notes in the space. Let's put one in the first space, and we'll go up to the second space, third space, and then the fourth space here. Now, a good trick to help you remember these ones is it spells a word. Let's have a look. The first space is F. Oh, there it is there. There's an F. The next one is an A. It's very tricky to draw or write with a mouse. There's your A there. And we've got a C. And finally, we have an E. 
And what does that spell? Well, if you don't know, I'll tell you. It's face. The word is face. I'll put a circle of the E there. So the notes on the lines, the way to remember them is every E, good, G, B, boy, D, deserves, F, fruit. And the notes in the spaces, F, A, C, E, spells face. So let's use what we know now to take a look at the game Note Names for Kids. So you're in your Google Slides and you click on the link and it will take you, there we go, to Note Names for Kids. Now the strange thing is, it doesn't matter, um, I've tried to change the link a bit, but it always takes you back to word three. So because we don't want to start at number three, we want to start from the start, we'll click up the top here, play Note Names. <laughs> Now it's gone back to the very first word, word one. So as you can see, we've got our A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the notes of the treble staff. There's our treble clef. Here's our um, stave or stave. And we need to figure out what these musical notes are. Well, every good B, boy, and this is in the fourth space. I know the last letter of space, oh, sorry, the last letter of face is E. And there it is. Word complete. So hopefully we'll do one more. Hopefully you get the idea. Every good boy D deserves uh, the second letter of uh, face is A. F A. Every good boy B. Dab like the dance move. Awesome. So hopefully you get the idea of how that works. Um, that's pretty much our lesson for this week. If you could have a go at uh, Note Names for Kids, uh, if you haven't got Star Wars, that is, maybe you could want to have a go at this anyway. Um, that would be really good revision for all sorts of music. It's time to wrap up the lesson. So that's it for another edition of Stewie's Music Online. Please choose a couple of activities from the grid. I would probably go uh, the Note Names for Kids or Star Wars one this week, considering we've just had a bit of revision on it then. Uh, before I go though, a little request from my friend Disco Stew. It was a fantastic success, the Disco, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we're gonna do it again this uh, Friday at 2.15 in my uh, WebEx room. The room number will come up on the uh, compass for mums and dads. But um, Disco Stew asked me to ask you uh, to email some requests to me. I'll pass them on to Disco Stew and he'll try his best to play them at this Friday's disco. I uh, think uh, we're gonna be having a go at the bus stop this week, as well as a bit of freestyling. So that's it for this week. Uh, take care out there, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Hope you